Well, I think what, what audiences are going to see is that this Deadpool and this Wolverine are, are definitely loyal to the characters we love. But because it's a proper two-hander, it's a real odd couple duo. That's a foundation for comedy, for conflict, for action, but it evolves into something subversive that people don't expect, which is a more emotional story and a story that's ultimately about a form of brotherhood. And as a result of that, it gives Hugh and Ryan a chance to play colors they haven't with these characters. I've watched a lot of interviews for um, yourself and Hugh and Ryan, and when you say brotherhood, I, I can see the three of you are here to impress together. Like it seems like you have a genuine connection and friendship. Is yeah, that, yeah, no, it's real. real you no, know, yeah. it's real. I mean, we've been, you know, I met Hugh on Real Steel. I met Ryan. We did Free Guy. We haven't stopped since. We all hang out in real life. This is not a Hollywood friendship. It's a life friendship, and we've helped each other through challenging times when we're needing, you know, a friend to lean on or friendly advice. So that's real, and I do think that the best movies somehow take what's going on in real life and transpose it on screen. And so I think it's no accident that the three of us are such close friends, and the movie is ultimately a very warm movie about friendship. You, um, you unlocked a core memory of mine today because I was looking at your uh, back catalogue and you directed Big Fat Liar. Yeah, which is you're a, right in that sweet spot at BFL. It's a wonderful film. Um, can you share some memories of me of working with, say, Frankie Muniz, Paul Giamatti? Yeah, I mean, I that was my first studio movie and I was so excited to get that chance. And the first thing I did is I cast my college buddy, Paul Giamatti, as the adult lead. I now consider Marty Wolf one of the unheralded icons of comedy. Um, and it is so close to Paul's heart and my heart. Uh, Big Fat Liar, I barely knew what I was doing, but I was so enthused to be there and I was just trusting my instincts. And the truth is, it's now 15 movies later and I still do the same thing. I'm still excited to be here. And all I can do every day, even with all this Marvel noise and all this expectation, is trust my instincts. And I think I can get away with this because uh, this is a Marvel film under the Disney umbrella. You have a Star Wars film uh, up and coming. I don't know what we can say about it still. There are rumors that there's a, a writer attached to it now. Yeah. What can you tell us about this project? Yeah, I, I am happy that's one secret I don't have to keep keeping. Um, Jonathan Tropper is writing my Star Wars film. We did the Adam Project together, and we have an idea that is really exciting to us and exciting to Kathy Kennedy and Dave Filoni. So one never knows if development reaches the starting gate, but my hope is that it will. Can you share anything like a character, a main character? I definitely can't share I anything. I've been so well trained by Stranger Things and Marvel that my lips are sealed.